Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go about resolving if your Google Chrome web browser will not load or open up properly. And this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. It is being performed on a Windows 11 computer, but will apply for any version of Windows and even Mac OS or Linux devices that Google Chrome is installed on, at least for most of the options here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First method, if you're able to get into Chrome, I'd recommend opening it up. Again, this is assuming you're able to get into Chrome for the first method. And then you would select the menu icon at the top right corner of the browser screen. And then you go and select settings. On the left side, you want to select reset and clean up. Restore settings to original default, select that. And this action will reset Chrome and Chrome shortcuts, disable extensions, and delete cookies and other temporary site data. Bookmarks, history, and safe passwords won't be affected. Select Reset Settings. So if that was unable to work for you, try closing out of here. Something else you can try here would just be to reinstall the Chrome browser. So, you know, you will lose your saved passwords and history, that sort of thing, if you're not using an account to sign into Google Chrome. But generally, if you sign back in, it should re-download everything. That's how Chrome, Chrome usually does sync across devices like that. But Normally in a situation like this, if you aren't able to just completely open up Chrome, the best thing you can do is just reinstall it. So in order to reinstall Chrome, all you have to do is open up the start menu, type in control panel, best result, should go back with control panel, go ahead and open that up. So your view by two large icons, and then select programs and features. You select Google Chrome from the list here, and then select uninstall. It's going to ask you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, go ahead and select yes. And then you want to go ahead and select on install. I know it was a little graphically messed up at the time, but you see it did uninstall. So at this point, go ahead and close out of here and restart the computer. And now that we're back into Windows, open up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but you want to go search for Google Chrome. One of the best results should be a Google domain. Go ahead and open that up. And then you want to select the download Chrome button. I'm going to uncheck the option to send usage statistics to help make Chrome better. You can keep that check mark. I usually just uncheck it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and select download Chrome. Go ahead and open up the setup file here. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And you can close out of the other web browser at this point. So pretty straightforward. If you want to sign back into your profile, you can click the little profile icon up at the top, and then you can sign in. And if you sign to your Gmail account, then you can sync everything up. So again, pretty straightforward process. Do a buzz, it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.